just love working with Erica. I owe my career as Dorian Lord to Erica Slezak. From the first day that I was on the show, I did a scene. I had to remember all these names I'd taken over a part. I was the third Dorian. And I thought, oh, I was not very good. She sat next to me after I finished. She said, you are going to be very good in this part. Welcome to the show. I hope that there will always be a place for Dorian and Vicky. You and I have been through so much, we could probably juggle live snakes and kitchen knives with our eyes closed. Whether we're friends, I will never again be at war with Vicky. We're enemies. You are a monster! Or perhaps share a grandchild. That could have some interesting possibilities. I just adore working with her. Um, she is phenomenal. Capsule, and I was asked to pick a series of scenes that my work would be remembered by. It would be the Vicky and Dorian scenes anytime we are locked up in a secluded place together from which there is no exit. Oh, oh God, please. Please don't let me die. Not here, not now, not with her. We had the secret room. We had the time that Vicky, when she was in her multiple personality phase. Dorian prisoner. Get used to your new home because you're never leaving here. All of this was wild and funny and dangerous and it gave the two of us an opportunity to really go at it. The strongest relationship on the show is the relationship between Vicky and Dorian. It's a wonderful relationship and I'm praying that it will go on. I have been assured that it will. You hate me, don't you? All right. I hate you! These are two women who understand each other at a level that they're not even aware of. They have incredible passions. You stay away from my son. Incredible loves. You stole Clint away from me. Incredible hate. You and Dorian Lord have been arch rivals, haven't you? They just are the opposite side. They can never get it together. And the few times that they've tried to make us friends, I've been up here going, <laughs> no! No. I should have known that the new and improved Dorian was going to last about five minutes. But that's why she's delightful, you know. She, she's that one of those people you love to hate her. Happy 30th anniversary, one life to live. Dorian is a fashion diva. As a child, I love to dress up and play pretend. And as an adult, I'm lucky enough to make my living doing that. You're dressed to kill, and I'm the only man in sight. She's someone whose clothing is like armor, and it helps her defend herself against the world, which, interestingly enough, even though she is sometimes perceived of as the villain. The dragon lay with a heart of stone. That's me. She's a very frightened person underneath. I look a bit too smashing to let this all go to waste. So to fight against this inner fear, she sometimes becomes the warrior. And fashion, like a great hat, or a bright color, or an outfit that sort of is over the top, is the, the kind of outfit that I love to wear. Something that really intrudes on other people's space. I like to joke that I got into this business because I love dress up. There was a producer who thought it would be a great idea to take away all Dorian's money, hence her wardrobe, and put me in prison. I love the B-movies of the 30s, 40s, and 50s. This was a women behind bars flick, as far as I was concerned. Tiny. I wore no makeup. I didn't have my hair done. I didn't let them uh, tailor the prison uniform so that it looks better. I just loved being bare bones, down and dirty. The fans loved seeing me like that. I did have a bottle of nail polish, and occasionally you would see trying to keep her nails looking nice. What do you think? It's my usual color. Jungle red. Rather suited to our primitive environment. That's the other side of Dress Up Diva. I myself am a closet comedian. I just adore making people laugh. And comedy is a serious business. The more you mean something, Sometimes the funnier it gets. You're not the first man to throw himself at me. <laughs> <laughs> I love a broad with a sense of humor. <laughs> Dorian is so intense about almost everything. The comedic possibilities are endless. Can I get you a drink? 
Some water would be nice. Thank you. This tastes like tap water. Don't you have any bottles? Sorry. Fresh out. This is hell. The comedy that I'm allowed to do in the midst of playing the so-called bad girl. <laughs> Happy 30th anniversary, One Life to Live.